what I found very quickly is when you go to the internet and you start looking up symptoms, yeah. it's like you could have all Worst sorts of horrible out. diseases. Yeah. It's, uh, maybe I'll just go to the doctor. And that's why we women talk ourselves into going because we're like, all right, this is really bad. <laughs> I kind of question the prostate exam, though, of age 15. Yeah, that, These that sounds... These are getting younger and younger for a lot of those exams. I don't know. That sounds a little early. But, okay. Hey. I don't know. I'm not a doctor. I just play one on TV. I don't even try that. <laughs> the doctor of weather. Hey, folks, remember yesterday we were talking about the smoke coming back into the general area here of southern Idaho? Well, take a look at this time-lapse video. What do you see around Sun Valley? <laughs> that, that is a little smoke that's coming back. And this is what we're going to be dealing with here in the days to come. Once again, as we have developed the southwesterly flow yesterday, this perspective that I showed you, uh, this is from the top Tamarack overlooking Cascade Lake and the Long Valley. And what do you see there? Yesterday it was crystal clear. Now the smoky conditions have returned. So air quality tomorrow is still expected to be in the moderate range. So moderate levels of pollution. So if you suffer from kind of a respiratory illness, you want to just take it easy a little bit in the afternoon. But the temperature readings also getting hotter because the flow is coming in from the southwest. 96 degrees right now in Boise. That is now 10 degrees above the average for this time of the year. Nampa is at 88. Uh, let's see, Mountain Home is 94 degrees. It's just going to be warm here for the next few days. Interesting little feature is sitting off the coastline of British Columbia. It's a stationary area of low pressure, and the models are saying that this might be a player in our weather pattern sometime next week. That would usher in cooler conditions and the potential for showers. We'll see if it plays out. But right now, it's just going to be hanging out off the coastline there of the Pacific Northwest and with high pressure down here to the south and to the west. You can see the direction the flow is coming in from. So southwesterly flow equals warm temperature readings. And because of the fires burning out here to the west and south of us, it's also going to be a little bit on the smoky side for the next few days. So no big changes as far as what we're seeing outside right now. Although I do think that as we approach the weekend, the temperature readings will drop back down to where they should be, which is near the low to mid 80s range by Saturday and Sunday. For right now, let's go with hazy sunshine, at least for the next few days, with temperatures on Saturday getting down to 85, on Sunday 84. And note, maybe around the middle of next week, that low pressure center, if it follows what the models are saying, could slide in here. Maybe bring us uh, more clouds and at least a chance of uh, some mountain showers. Again, it's still way out there. We'll see how it plays out. But if you got plans to go to the Long Valley this weekend, oh, look good. Looking good. Temperatures in the mid to the upper 70s for daytime highs. Could still be a little bit on the hazy side, though. So I'm holding out hope for the clouds next Wednesday. Why that would be nice. Just because I, I think we need rain. We just need, <laughs> a, little, oh, yes, need a little change. That would be good. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Roland.